Scientology, The Cult of Greed, by John Atak, read by John Atak. Copyright 2014, Trent Valley Limited, published by Richard Woods, all rights reserved. Copyright renewed 2023 for this audiobook and video book. The UFO Cult. 75 million years ago, the evil Prince Zunu rounded up the populations of 76 planets and brought them to Earth where their souls were dropped into volcanoes, blown up with hydrogen bombs, and gathered on electronic ribbons to be clustered together. This sounds like the creation of a science fiction writer, and it is. But Scientologists who have reached the secret OT3 level are told that they can only regain their individuality by separating themselves out from these impacted clusters of souls, and they pay tens of thousands of dollars to practice this contemporary form of demon exorcism. Scientology's creator, Ron Hubbard, claimed that anyone exposed to the secrets of this level unprepared would die within days, but in the 1980s he tried to sell a screenplay of the story under the title Revolt in the Stars. The Sea Organisation Hubbard had fled to Rhodesia, which is now Zimbabwe, after being caught trying to pass a prescription for barbiturate drugs in a pharmacy in England. Uh, he signed it Dr. L. Ron Hubbard. He was expelled from Rhodesia after his assistant, Morley Glazier, was caught breaking into government offices. Hubbard was declared an undesirable alien by the British government and took to the high seas with a small crew who became known as the Sea Organisation. For six years, the Sea Organization plied the waters of the Mediterranean, being thrown out of one port after another. Hubbard surrounded himself with the teenage children of his followers. The girls sir, wore white hot pants. They were trained to bark his orders at members of the crew in imitation of his own angry style. It came to be known as the Commodore's Messenger Organization. He had styled himself the Commodore of the Sea Organization. During this time, Hubbard introduced overboarding in 1968, where errant Scientologists would be hurled from the deck of one of his vessels into the sea. And this is from a height much higher than the high diving board to swimming pool. Subjects of this practice have described its terrifying effects. Indeed, from publicising a method of reducing trauma with Dianetics, Hubbard was now deliberately inducing it. Hubbard published his own photographs of this demeaning violation of human rights in the Auditor magazine. While at sea, Hubbard also punished dissenting followers by confining them in the dark, fetid atmosphere of the chain lockers, where the anchor chains were kept while at sea. Children as young as four spent days in the pitch-dark, wet, rat-infested chain lockers under Hubbard's orders. Eventually, the sea organisation was forced ashore when no Mediterranean port would allow the Scientologists access. They landed in Florida, where under the guise of the United Churches of Florida, they bought up properties in Clearwater and established the Flag Land Base, flag from the flagship, Hubbard's flagship. Hubbard was driven into hiding because of numerous legal suits. This did not stop him from personally orchestrating a harassment campaign against the mayor of Clearwater, Gabe Cesares. <laughs> 